Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. In today's video, we are taking requests from Discord. If you guys would like to leave a request for me, join my Discord via Patreon. It helps fund the channel. So in today's video, we are talking about boredom. I got a comment that said, ever since you started making content, you have never once stated that you were bored. However, most people our age in a state of perpetual boredom are in a state of perpetual boredom and stagnation. You have touched on this theme plenty, but never directly related to any concept of boredom. I think you process boredom, or lack of it, very differently compared to most. Would be cool to see you analyze and share why you think this boredom pandemic exists, like the loneliness one you did. Most importantly, or more importantly, why you never felt that way, or at least not nearly the same ex extent as most, regardless of how drastically your mindset and lifestyle have changed. It says you could go into the topic however you wish, like you were always like this, or did you work on it? Did you interact um, with bored slash boring people? Or how do you interact with them? How do you how do you make boring situations not boring? Okay, so great question, great topic from a wonderful person. I'm so glad you guys left me that comment. Thank you so much. So boredom is actually a really interesting topic. When I was younger, I had a best friend who's still one of my best friends. We've been friends over 20 something years. And her father, one day when I was about, who knows, between nine and probably 11, I don't know how old I was, I went up to him and I I said, oh, I'm so bored. And he said, you know what? You know what's a secret? And I said, tell me. And he said, if you're bored, it just means you're a boring person. And I said, oh, what? I was so offended. I was like, what do you mean? And he said, think about your life. Think of the opportunities you've had. Think of the opportunities you could make right now by just being creative. At the time when we were younger, his daughter and I, along with two other people, my sibling and a friend, we made like a little business in the neighborhood. We would mow lawns and sell lemonade and watch cats. And we had we even had a neighborhood newsletter. And we had all of these aspirations as kids that we came up with on our own. Our parents never made us do these things. We just wanted to be self-reliant. And since we both had parents who didn't spoil us, we had to earn our spending money. Ever since I was a kid, that stayed with me. That idea that if I was bored, I must be a boring person. So every time I moved forward in life and I felt a lack of motivation or stagnation, I related it to the why. Why am I bored? Why am I feeling less motivated? These are two different things. Boredom as a concept, I understand. But as a thing in practice, it's hard for me because my brain is always going, because I'm always problem solving or thinking about things, or I'm on my Discord, or I'm on work, or I'm on my phone, or I'm calling my family, or I have things to interact with, people to interact with, ideas to interact with. Boredom isn't a word you use to, to a person like me who's read over 2,000 books. How can you be bored when you love reading? Like, it's like asking if a gamer is ever bored, mostly with their life, maybe. But if you're a gamer who loves gaming as much as I love reading, how could you ever be bored in life? Now, I think if you find yourself being bored, are you bored in the way a child is when they can't think of something to do? Or are you bored in the way adult is, an adult can be when they realize that they have nothing to live for? A form of boredom is definitely related to stagnation, which is definitely related to a lack of motivation. But I think it's up to you to decide why you're bored and how you're bored. When I meet people who are boring, usually it's because I'm not, I'm not getting the stimulation I need, which really isn't saying they're boring. It's saying I am bored with the situation. I find this happens online a lot where I'll try to have types of conversations with people, but if they can't engage with me in the way that I'm looking for, I do kind of like zone out. And it's not to say that they are boring. It's to say that my brain is not stimulated by X, therefore I am bored. But really what I am is unstimulated. So if I'm by myself, how could I be bored? I know how to stimulate myself. Join my OnlyFans, links down below. But I, I genuinely... I know how to stimulate myself, which means I, Brittany, as an individual, can't be bored. But if I'm interacting with people in which I am not getting the thing I want, I usually calmly exit the situation or redo things. You've seen me a couple times already in group conversations on the internet, and you guys will see me just like, I'm peacing out, bro. It's like, I, if I don't get the stimulation I need, there is no reason for me to engage. My life is too short and too precious to spend it being bored. So how you think about boredom is going to be up to you. Why are you bored? Have you forgotten how dangerous, hard, and, and challenging life is? Are you not living life so you will have time to be bored? Or are you living life and you find yourself bored? Are you really bored? Or are you stagnant? Are you unmotivated? Are you uninspired? Are you losing track of who you are and what you're aiming for? These are all questions that could come up when contemplating boredom. So again, for me personally, could I be bored? Not if I'm by myself. And if I find myself bored in situations, I learn how to exit them or I learn how to make them better. But somehow it always falls on me because I am the only one who gets to decide if I'm bored. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. So why's my 
like my mask, please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool